I'm good if you don't look close at the details. Yeah. Oh, that's like my quilting skills. <laughs> yeah. Um, how have you been since I've seen you last? I've been fantastic. Yeah? It's nice to see you in person. I got to do I this know. with you when you were starting and we were in the Zoom. pandemic and we were on Zoom. So very nice to be here. Yeah. My wife is here because she's a big fan of yours. Oh, awesome. Usually she doesn't care what I'm doing, but she's like, you're going where? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to score points. She's my favorite Sorry. spouse thus far. Okay. <laughs> now you've been married, uh, speaking of her. 23 20, years. Yeah. 23 years. That's like 108 in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long time. 108 in Hollywood years, yes. Yeah. Do you yeah. have like a secret or? Um, well, my father. Not all of us make it there, Billy. My, well, my father told me a long time ago, you can be right or you can be married. And what I find is the more I'm agreeable with her, the easier and better my life gets. Yes. I, th I think if you've been in it long enough, you finally start to understand that, hey, maybe she's teaching me how to impersonate a human being. Maybe. <laughs> That's, I like your outlook. You have a no judgment zone, is that what you call it, with your son? Uh, yeah, wow, you do your research. I know, I, <laughs> I wanna know what a no judgment zone is so I can, I can do this with my children. Well, um, I just always set up this thing with him that I, like, look, your, your parents did what they could for you, <clears throat> and you hopefully, you know, I told him when he left the house for college, I said, you, your job is to take all the good stuff I gave you and put it in your pocket, and all the bad stuff I gave you, you gotta start working on getting rid of that. And nobody leaves the house without a mental or a physical wealth. You know what yeah, I mean? It's just yeah. how you grow up. And I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I, my father was my hero, but, you know, he didn't have all the emotional skills that we're working on these days. And, I just always set up a place for him where he could tell me anything because I learned when I was younger that if you told your parents you did something wrong, we're from the generation where they lost their minds. Yeah, I get it. Because well, that's how yeah. they were parented, right? So, but I, what I realized in that was when I got yelled at, I thought, I'm never gonna tell you anything ever again. And I didn't wanna have that relationship with him. So I, I, my deal is you can tell me anything and I'll shoot you straight. There are consequences mm -hmm. for your actions, but if you come tell me, there's a chance we can talk through to a solution. And, and it's been a beautiful bond with him because of that. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> that it works. That's, it a, that's amazing. Do you, are, did you have that with your kids growing up? Were they comfortable coming to you, do you think? I think so. And I mean, I did something similar. We did something similar where I always say to them, no matter what happens, I'm always on your side. Right. Right. So it's like when you come and talk to me about something or a problem, I'm not going to take someone else aside. I'm going to be like, we're going to figure this out together because right. I'm your I'm your biggest ally. I absolutely think yeah. that's that's the way to, to, because I don't want them hiding it. And I remember all the questions that I had that I couldn't ask anybody. And I yeah. wanted him to have a place where he could do that, you know? So that's that's what I try to do. And now there's still stuff he tells his mother that he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Mothers and sons, you know? Yeah. Oh, I hope so. I hope they talk to me. I'm trying to create that environment, but you never know. If you're trying, yeah. you're on it. Yeah. yeah. We have something in common. So I worked at a comedy club, and you I obviously did. are a comedian, so you yes. worked at a comedy club, but your first job at yes. a comedy club was not on stage, right? No, it was not. It was, uh, I was 17, and I needed a way to be in the club legally, so they said, well, you can clean the toilets, and you can see people. And so that's how I started, just to be around it. You yeah. Know, and, and to be part of something. You know, there wasn't really a school for that. There wasn't a class you could go take for that. So I just wanted to be around it. So they were like, here's a mop, and you can come in here. And then eventually I got a little stage time and was able to continue on that way. And yeah, I, I remember that, uh, reading that you were uh, uh, in a comedy club yeah, in Texas, I was a comedy right? waitress, yeah. And in yeah, Texas, yeah. they let anyone serve. <laughs> so I was serving at that age. You know, I, was like, I think I had to be 18. But I wasn't a comedian, obviously. But I, I loved working there, though, because all you do is laugh. Like, it was like the greatest job. Like That's very funny. Uh, yeah, you laugh at the comedy club. That's my wife's favorite line. You let, what? No, no, when we're out to dinner, somebody will walk up and say, oh, it must be so wonderful to be married to a comedian. And my wife will go, yeah, we just laugh and laugh. <laughs> no, no, I will tell you, after hours, like after the laughing and everyone's collecting their, you know, money for the sure. night, yeah, comedians can be very dark. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's... I was like, whoa, uh, that's, that's a different well, there's human. A, there's an old adage with comics, like if you want to make an audience laugh, you dress a comic, a comic up like an old lady and push him down a flight of steps. Oh, my God. If you want to make a comic laugh, you use an old lady. Oh, my God. It's a joke. Don't start it's a, a Facebook joke. page. It's a joke. <laughs> Don't start a protest. Don't start a protest. We used protest. to be able to laugh at these things. Oh, it's my not, God. There's not a real old lady. It's okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a part of it. I love it. Okay, wait, this is uh, the final season. Yes. Are you, I don't know, like heartbroken that it's ending, but also excited because it's yeah, new adventures? You know, you, you know, I think every actor feels like when you stop working, you go, well, that, that's it's your it. last That's job. it. I'm never yeah. going to work again. Yeah. But, you know, there's also an excitement to see what's next and what's new. And this show I'm very, very proud of because it's... Uh, it's a good example that love wins. No matter what love looks like, love wins. And I think uh, where we're at in this world today, I think we've put a nice message in the air and I'm very, very proud of that. Yeah, of that. amazing footprints to leave behind, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, we need another commercial break, everybody, but you can see Bob Hart's Abishola Mondays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.